Well, hey there, folks. Meteorologist Matt Barentine. We obviously have a storm tracker alert going here for today and tomorrow as we deal with the impacts here from Hurricane Francine. I'm meteorologist Matt Barentine. Happy Wednesday morning to you. Um, you know, it's going to be a rough morning in South Louisiana as they deal with the landfall of what's going to be a fairly strong uh, hurricane. It's going to likely increase to Category 2 strength before it makes landfall here in Morgan City. Louisiana that looks to be the most likely spot for landfall. You can definitely see all the heavy rain bands wrapping around that for us right now. As you get up this morning, good news. Things are quiet. Things are calm here to start the day. It won't say that way, obviously, but it is quiet and calm to start the day so you can get out and get to work, get to school, get some things done, run some errands, all that stuff here before things start turning too rough. Here is the currents 90 mile per hour winds moving to the northeast at 10 miles per hour. Once again, head towards Morgan City, Louisiana, which is right through here and then up through the uh, Baton Rouge area and then up through Jackson, Mississippi. Of course, there is a cone here. It could come more easterly along this cone close to New Orleans and Hattiesburg. I think that's a very likely possibility with this system. Um, for us, it's not going to be a direct impact, but it's going to be close enough to where we do have significant impacts here from the system. We are under a tropical storm warning in Mobile and Baldwin counties, also uh, in George County as well. Mississippi Green County is under a tropical storm watch here with this system. Here is the peak storm surge. So obviously it's going to be right where it makes landfall here in Louisiana, where the peak surge is at. For us, it's going to be about two to four feet through Mobile Bay, Dolphin Island, Fort Morgan Peninsula. So that's obviously just enough to cause some issues. Uh, West End and Dolphin Island, the causeway, we'll start seeing some issues later today with storm surge. Here is the future cast and here it is going to make landfall later on around six o'clock this evening so around dinner time. Our rain will be picking up throughout the afternoon. We'll have heavy rain bands moving in and certainly by this evening we'll have very heavy rain bands across our area that are being pulled into that system as we go through overnight hours probably the heaviest rain overnight into early tomorrow morning and also this is when the wind gusts will be pretty strong here across the area then as we get to 9 a.m tomorrow things will begin to gradually improve so it'll be a gradual process it'll take some time but it will improve as the day goes along on our thursday so it starts rough on thursday gets better starts calm today gets worse here later on today. So it's going to be Wednesday afternoon through Thursday morning. That's the time frame of the worst weather here for us across the area. How much rain are we talking about? Several inches, maybe as much as five inches in coastal areas. And then as you work your way inland down to about two inches. So yeah, just kind of look at where you're at. Most areas are going to get somewhere around three inches is what we're anticipating. Here's what the wind forecast looks like. So here it goes making landfall once again over around Morgan City, Louisiana. We'll have strong wind gusts by this afternoon. So here we are around six that's showing tropical storm force wind gusts here across the area that continues overnight tonight. And then by tomorrow morning, the winds will be getting a little bit lower here for us. So also we got to watch out unfortunately for the possibility of tornadoes. Uh, this will once again when the worst of the, the bands are coming through uh, late this afternoon. This evening and overnight, that's when we'll have a tornado risk. This is very typical of a landfalling hurricane. On the right hand side, you do generally get a tornado risk with a few tornadoes possible. Uh, so something else that's just another one of those things that we have to watch out for. Here are those wind gusts around nine o'clock. You can see them really going across the area and you can see high wind gusts here. Loose Dale, Pascagoula over 40 miles per hour. Some of the highest wind gusts right around midnight. Loose Dale over 50 miles per hour. Same deal in Pensacola, Gulf Shores in the mid 40s and that continues overnight. Tomorrow morning we wake up uh, still have wind gusts of around 50 in Grove Hill, Chatham and Leakesville over 30 miles per hour. And then as we go later in the morning, things begin to uh, calm down with the wind. So the highest wind gusts overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning. Once again, we are under a storm track or alert for today and tomorrow uh, with those heavy rain bands moving on through. Things improve tomorrow and certainly a lot better by Friday. Friday is going to be a beautiful day, lower humidity, lots of sunshine looking good. Saturday looks good as well. Sunday, a small chance of some showers.